Hello and welcome to Pathy the Geeks. You join us for our unboxing video of the Blood Bowl uh, Dwarf Giants. We've also got other dice. We've also got the special play cards and underneath we've got pitch. Double sided Skaven Dwarf pitch. Because <laughs> we managed to get one of everything last week. We did. So that's cool. we, we were lucky. So yeah. These dice are cool. And <laughs> we need to have a look at these. Yeah. So um, I think we'll start with the cards, actually, and okay. we'll finish on the Blood Bowl team. Mm -hmm. So let's just move the Blood Bowl team out of the way for a second. Uh, I shall open this, where I can undo the dice, we'll have a look at them. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so clearly we've got the dice out of the dice. Yep. So we'll look at these there's first. There. So we have these nice uh, white marble with grey and then blue. They are very nice. With the mountain symbol. Which is actually the symbol I'm going to use for my team, <laughs> weirdly enough. And probably the core scheme as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, there you go. These did go out of stock very quickly. But they are being reprinted apparently. So mm -hmm. in about three months time I believe they're going to be available again. Or maybe before. Uh, I don't know how long they're getting to reprint them. I think it's probably from China to get these ones mm. done. There we go, there's the dice. And they also said they were reprinting the Skaven ones too. Yeah, the other thing I noticed with those, you said they've got um, a mountain symbol. I'm sure yeah, the Skaven had the um, Blood Bowl symbol on. They did. Uh, the, the Skaven reprints will have the Skaven symbol on, so they'll actually be slightly different. Uh, I think the Skaven ones are done to match the ones actually in the box for the Orcs and Humans. Ah. I imagine eventually we might get a New York and Human team as well, maybe. Probably, yeah. Back. A different lot, yeah. So special cards. Which came in here. We have two lots. We have the magical memorabilia, which if you've got the Blood Bowl um, uh, season one book, it'll tell you how to use them in, in that basically. Uh, so for instance, we've got Luther's dazzling wrist guards. Oh. Play at the start of any drive while you're setting up your team. Pick a player from your team to wear the wrist guards for the rest of the game. They have the bonehead hypnotic gaze and sidestep skills. So you basically become kind of a vampire. Kind of. Uh, timing. Play at the start of the drive while setting up your team. This is Zug's jersey from 2492. He was for a full season without washing it. Um, <laughs> that was very smelly. I'm, I'm sure I shouldn't have just give you a player sort of foul appearance or something. <laughs> so there we go. Um, pick a player from your team to wear the jersey for the rest of the game. Armour rolls made against your player may not be modified in any way. I might uh, claw, mighty blow, foul assists, and so on. Only count the exact total of the two dice rolled. That's pretty good. So we have some other magic items. We have um, Grook the Bear's Gauntlets. I don't read them all out, you can just see them as they go through. Scrot's Sickly Slop. Great. Bob's Biffin Helmet. Uh, Sprawly's Cup. There we go. Von Wilkes Boots. Our Grablag's Bowl of Pain. Helos Headband. And Hightower's Lucky Sock. Is that Hightower from Police Academy? <clears throat> Possibly. Uh, so we've got those cards though. And the rest of the cards consist of these heroic feats. So we have the, these uh, yellow cards. So we've got Catcher's Instincts. So these seem to be just feats uh, for anyone to do, really. But it does say Catcher's. Uh, Mighty Leap. Punt. A spectacular Catch. So for instance, yeah, it doesn't really say they have to, I mean, it says like catches and stuff, but it doesn't have to be catches you use it on. Uh, suicide Blitz. Go the extra mile. Inch Perfect Kick. Fancy Footwork. Die Hard. Up Like a Shot. Unlikely interception, burst of speed in the zone, golden boy, star ascendant, and perfect throw. 
So those go with the cards you get in the main game. I don't know why they have to be separate. Unless they just haven't got them printed. Possibly. So there's that many plus that many. I don't know why they couldn't include them in the main game. But there we go. Doesn't matter. We've got them there. Right, so let's have a look at this pitch. Before we go into the team. This is the first bubble pitch we got because I didn't get the snow one, unfortunately, if you've watched our channel. I don't know if they're still going to reprint that. Apparently they've already done one reprint of it. I missed that. But they are reprinting this one, I was told today. So if you've missed out on this and you still want it, keep your eyes glued. So importantly, we also get dugouts. Let's get inside that. There's something else in there. Yeah, I'm just having a look. It might just be cardboard. It's, it's just piece cardboard. Of cardboard. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the scave inside, dwarf side, which looks awesome. Got to play some home home away matches. Yeah. And the pictures itself. Well, I'll get part of this on the camera, that we're readjusting it. But well, let's have a look. And we're in. Wow, that's awesome. So that's cool. That's I'm going to do the bases on my dwarf team anyway. <laughs> So it's just like a dwarf hall basically. Yeah. Which has been made for playing Blood Bowl on. It looks awesome actually, I do like this. Um, I don't get any more of that on camera. Well, there's a symbol in the middle. It is very cool, it's got little details on it as well. Yeah. It's, it's a nice board. There's an axe over it embedded in the ground. And my axe. <laughs> so what? Just there. Uh... Cool. So I'll look at the scaven side. Try and make some more stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's so, nice as well. Yeah, this is scaven. <laughs> yeah. There's a symbol in the middle. Lots of warp stone running through the pitch. So I painted my scaven team, by the way. I just need to base them. I was waiting to have a look at this. So I'm going to do them in astral granite. And then a little bit of warp stone, that should match quite well. Mm. Maybe bits of blood here and there. But that would be really cool. The end has got a scaven symbol on. Mm -hmm. What we could do we now some there. we could do with some official rules now for different pitches. Yes, so, that will make it. So we could it... play home and away matches, so when you're playing at home you do have a slight advantage maybe. That make it unique as well. Yeah. Rather than just having pretty boards. Yeah, especially all this warp stone, that's going to cause some problems. Well, yeah. Definitely, and that's like, look at that guy, he's actually drowning in a bit of mud or something. There's Literally. a scaven down here, drowning in some sort of It's, it's almost like a little, water. Sort of like a ravine in the, uh, I've got all these pipes. Yeah. I wonder what they were, I thought it was rocks, it's actually pipes. It's like a sludge or something, isn't yeah. it? That would make... And there's a scaven down there, if you see him on there. There. Cool, that's a cool pitch. I'm impressed actually. Mm. I like the fact double sided, I'm glad they didn't do like one pitch for every team, at least you're getting two for your money. Yeah. Uh, I'll we'll see what pitches we get in the future, but since I like Skaven and Dwarves a lot, then that was a no brainer for me. <laughs> right, so let's move on to the team. So here is the Dwarf Giants Dwarf Bubble Team box, 12 inches in there. Also we're going to have all the add-on bits and the transfers as well. So let's get it open and just stare at the box. with the slot holes for blood balls. Here's the sprue. So we have a nice big dwarf token with a 
beer mug in it in its hand. <laughs> Excellent. So dwarf ball there. Again, we have two identical sprues. Um, so two of everything will be on here. Obviously, apart from lines, when there's six in the box, mm -hmm. so there's be three lines on a sprue. That's cool. Uh, we have we need transfer. We've got the mountain symbol. That's the one I'm going to use that actually if I can on my team. A team which will be called the Steam Miners um, Guild. Steam the Iron Hills Steam Miners Guild. Cool. Thought that last night. <laughs> yeah, so I did steal part of that from Malafoil. Just anyone going, that sounds like the Steam Fitters Union. <laughs> There's a reason for it. I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it fitted the. Uh, and maybe with the new Duradin coming out, a lot more. Probably going to be more steampunky, Punk, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I must admit, from the pictures of these, some of them yeah. do look almost steampunk. Almost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that Hell Hammer Hand game that's coming out. Is it yeah. Hell Hammer Hand? I can't remember. Something Hammer like Hammer Hall. Hammer Hall. Hammer Hall, yeah. The second uh, Silver Tower. Yeah. Um, there's a dwarf in there, isn't there? There's a dwarf. I think that's just the, the normal cogsmith. Right. The guy we've already got. And you ah. might have seen on our, our videos already because yeah, it's a cool model. I can't remember his name. It's like something Burlinson. Burleson. I can't remember off the top of my head. Gunrick. It was GB's initials. Yeah. Um, I think. But there was a cogsmith and he had like a shotgun and everything. It's very cool. Uh, obviously that's going to be the, the template for the new dwarves. That's going to be great. Mm. So we have the rules for the dwarves here. In case you don't have the uh, season one book, mm -hmm. you can use the rules off this. It shows you Dauntless Frenzy and Tackle as well. Uh, where's the Thick Skull? That's not on there though, is it? They've missed out the thick skull rule. Do they have that? Is that in the book? Yeah, but it's not on there. Oh, whoops. We've got Dauntless, Frenzy and Tackle. Unless thick skulls are found in the... Oh, it's in the rule. book. Yeah. Yeah, it would be in the book. Dwarves yeah. have always had it. But it doesn't seem to be on this uh, paper. For some reason. All the yeah. other rules are. <laughs> Apart from obviously the ones that like block your hands, which are in the main game. Mm. Right. So the instructions... Two pages. Wow. That was really complicated. These are going to be really difficult to put together. <laughs> so, uh, what we'll do, we'll start cutting them off. And we'll do the blitzers first. So, we'll get the parts, have a look at them, and then stick them together. Okay, so these are the parts for the blitzers. So, this is the body. Look at this guy. Got some nice detailing on there. Looks pretty cool. But all these look like. Uh, this sort of stabby things, I don't yeah. even know what they're called. There will be a proper name for them, not this stabby thing. Um, um, oh yeah, that's going to annoy me that. I do know the name actually. Knuckle these dusters. Are, yeah, knuckle dusters. I'm sure there's like a different name for these guys though, because like, they're like, it's like a proper weapon of war, rather right? than a knuckle duster. So we get this bit that goes on there, like so. And then we actually get two different heads, two slightly different heads for the blitzers. Of this one with the the army cut, and then we have this guy. He's actually wearing a helmet, so you can actually have two versions of the blitzers. I also noticed later on you had two versions of troll slayers as well. Yes, I hadn't noticed that. I just assumed like the previous team there'd just be two carbon copies. Mm -hmm. So I like that idea. Multiple heads gives them a bit of difference. I just wish there was two on each of the linesmen as well. Cause that'd yeah, be awesome. that would be really good. Because then you, you, can each have, you can have proper unique models then. So hopefully maybe that's a sign in the future that we will get different parts. Mm -hmm. But we'll stick these guys together. I don't think there'll be any issues. And we'll be back once they are. Okay. So there is... Light please. Thank you. And there is the dwarf. Pull it up. And there's one with a different head. So that's pretty cool. They do look different enough that they're easily identifiable. And, well, and just by the number. So next up, we have the linesman number one. And these, unfortunately, are exactly the same. Uh, we have part five, which is the head. Part seven, which is the body. Part six, which is the arm. 
and part eight, which is the just kind of like a little tube thing. I don't even know what that is. What is that? <laughs> it's like a little uh, thing that attaches on the back. Oh right. Reason. Weirdly, there's a little gap in the back. Then we got this this piece here, which is where the number's going to go. Separate. I, 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 I don't know why. <laughs> I think they've all got it actually. Yeah, all, all the linemen uh, seem to. They all have this weird attachment. I don't know why that's separate. There must be a reason. They want to be like Malifaux. Yeah, they want to be like Malifaux and give you a weird fiddly bit. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put these two together and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there is Linesman on number one. Let's look at that. He's actually very cool. I like his stance. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so those two are identical. The next guy. We've got part 10. We've got another one of those weird back bits. Yeah. We've got part 11. And what else is the part 9, mm, which is the head. So, I'll stick those two together. And uh, then it'll be lines with number 3. Where we have parts 13, 14. We've got one of those weird bits again, haven't we? Yeah, there's one there as well. Huh. There we go. Parts already cut in. Excellent, good work. So we'll stick these two together, which will be four models in total, two of each type, and then I'll come back and show you them both. Okay, so here is our one of the linesmen. The, I've got to say, the pictures of these, the painted ones, whether it's just because they're two dimensional or not, reason to injustice. Seeing them as models, that's a massive thing, he's got that's more than a knuckle like duster. That's more of something, isn't it? It's like one of those things that the um, augers have. Yeah, I don't want to get anywhere near that. This spike or whatever it is. Seeing them in person, they look a lot better than I thought they did in the actual previous pictures. Uh -huh. So next up we have the runners, uh, which is part 20, 18, 19, and then we have this weird bit at the back again, which are really fiddly to put in if you get them the wrong way around and you've got glue everywhere. <laughs> so just be, line them up first. Oh, by the way, these do snap together, I meant to say that before, because they've got all the pins and everything where they're meant to be. So they do snap together, but... Um, I'm gluing them, so there we go. So uh, we'll do these and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's look at the runner. There he is. And again, see the boots on that one, that's pretty cool. That actually fits in the easiest of all the ones so far, because I think it's much more of a shallow sort of uh, connection. That's pretty cool. So next up, and last up, should we say, is the Troll Slayer. Because there are two different heads again, yes. like the Blitzers, which is cool. So we have um, Plain Head, which is where? I think the, it's 24 okay. and 22, I've given you there. 24 and 22. That's all the other. That 20. Which bit is that? That's 22, isn't it? Oh, that's 22, yeah. No, it isn't. Isn't it? That's 23. That's the other. That's the face. Then we have that's twenty seven. That's twenty six. Uh, that's the hand. And that's the other hand. That's not the leg in it. That's why it's confusing me. Right, so that's the leg. That's twenty eight. That's twenty seven. Uh, All right. That is that the other one then. Uh, which one's that? Is that not 23? Is it? I'm sure that's 23 and that one's 24. Yeah, you're right. That's 23. See, he's giving me options I got confused. That's 22. That should be a 25. 25's there. And cool. then there's the other body. Another and then we've got another one. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got uh, 24 and 
22. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of your standard troll slayer without the armour on the head. And then we have one that looks more like a fire slayer. Which is a bit weird. It's uh, straw slayers aren't meant to wear any armour. Um, but it looks cool enough. If you didn't want him to wear armour, obviously you can make them both without the uh, without the armour. You've got that option. I'll make one of each so that I can tell the difference on the table. So we'll do that and we're back. And see you in a second. Okay, so I've stuck one of them together. Here he is. That's the troll slayer without the helmet on. He looks really good. Better again than the picture. I've got to admit, this was the one I was least impressed with, probably on the pictures. Seeing him in person, he looks really good. And his beard is supporting his entire weight, if you look at that. But I'll show you uh, how to put them together, actually, because he goes together a little bit differently. Um, what you've got to do is you have the head part, which has this sort of like block here in the middle. That fits in there. And then you get this arm, which needs to go in there. So you've got to put all this in first before you fashion, fasten on the front uh, part of the body, which then goes over the top like so. So that's all got to go inside it. So if you're not gluing them, you have to make sure you put that in. On this one I forgot, to, well, I didn't actually realise I need to put the arm in. So I glued it all together and the arm was separate. If you do do that, just simply cut off that round part because it slots in anyway. Um, but if you're only snapping it together without glue, you need to make sure that goes in first, like that. So, and that bit goes in there, like that. So it's actually slotting in behind where the head goes, if you can see that on the camera there. There's a little square in there, and then we've got the two holes which line up. So that's the difficult one to put together. Out of the whole kit, that's the only one which is a slightly different and make sure you put the stuff in it first. But I'll stick them together and then we'll be back at the end with the whole team. So there's the whole team together. Didn't really show you these things, but there is the, uh, the old markers. There we go. Um, I don't know if I showed you the side of the coins either. We've got the dwarfs head symbol on there and then the blood bolt symbol on the other side. Footballs, pretty standard. With some dwarf icons on. Look cool though. So there we go, those are the dwarves. They look better than the box art. Um, I hope I can do them justice when I paint them. I'm sure you will. Yeah, but I discovered something on the back of the uh, pitch box. Yes, I did. There's a subterranean stadium conditions table. Yes. Uh, ranging from 2 to um, 12, that's a 2d6 result. Um, so you'll need to keep the box basically. Yeah, I don't know if can get that on there. It is on the back. Uh, I'll move the camera back a bit. It's on the back there. So subterranean. Uh, you can just cut that bit out, I suppose. You could do, yeah. To laminate it, or something. Can do. So we've got bubbling up from below. What's that one? You just want me to say the the words that I can't say. Aren't it you? is, yeah, gloomy. Actually, <laughs> you don't need to say them. We can just show on the camera. Uh, nice enough. Thermal geezers. Or geysers, seismic activity is that. So, we'll definitely use these rules when we mm. actually use them, play the game. So, there we go. Yeah. Oh, knocked the box a bit there. But that's uh, the uh, the dwarf giants, or whatever team we're going to call them. These said mm -hmm. my guys are going to be called the uh, Steam Miners Guild mm -hmm. of the Iron Hills. <laughs> It's probably from Lord of the Rings, but never mind. <laughs> there's nine hills in, in Warhammer, or this version of Warhammer, which isn't really Warhammer, it's but it's a world that wasn't destroyed. Amorica. Amorica. It originated in Amorica, Blood Bowl. Um, and it's based on the Book of Nuffle. Nuffle, yes. So, we're not really in the Warhammer world, so there's probably a place called Iron Hills. Yeah. There we go. There is now, anyway. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Next week we have... The Gathering Storm Part 2. And the Triumphant. And the Elder Triumphant. Triumvirate. Virate. It's like Virate, Great. isn't it? Yeah. Triumvirate. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with We've that. We've got them. We've got them next, <laughs> uh, next week. Mm. So stay tuned for that. In between, hopefully, we're going to get our first inaugural Blood Bowl game played. 
that'll be up as soon as we've done it. Yep. So the teams are ready, the board is up. Uh, it's just a case of doing it when we've not got a lot of noise, as you may have heard on this camera, mm -hmm. from our neighbours, um, which is one of the problems we have with filming, um, which is why we've not done as many films as we wanted to recently because recently, yeah. it's hard to fit it in when people aren't making noise <laughs> or we've got time to do it yeah. so we do be doing a lot of painting now so things are ready to go yeah um, the uh, treatment is yeah. actually done I thought I'd done a film on that and we've lost the film yes um, we did do a film but for some reason the camera decided I didn't like it <laughs> um, I, I did have some problem. I did have some problems with the camera as well it was at the time we went to um, Warhammer World. Yeah. I had some stuff on there. Um, uh, but it went missing. Yes. So unfortunately. In the warp. In the warp. <laughs> so unfortunately, I was going to show you some stuff we had from Warhammer World. I do have some pictures. I might do like a slideshow if anyone wants to see it. It's going to mm -hmm. be a bit boring though compared to actually some some footage. But if anyone wants to see the pictures, uh, let me know in the we comments. Can try and do a little bit of talk I could, over. I could, I could do like a, a, a voiceover. A, voice, a voiceover version of the pictures. <laughs> um, but that's about as best I can do with that. Yeah. But we did lose the video for the tree, tree man. But and he, he is painted. He is painted up so, and ready and ready to go. I'm not stripping him of paint just to repaint him for a video. Watch. Don't you dare! It took me ages <laughs> to do that. I suppose I could strip now. Claire will kill me. That's why I'm not going to do it. Claire will absolutely murder me. Um, <laughs> so there we go. So stay tuned for more stuff. Uh, we're going to be playing some games, mm -hmm. and hopefully we get a chance to record them. That's that's the that's the future. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Please like and subscribe, help set loads, and take care, guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.